the technician? Yes, I am. What's the problem? Well, I have seen problems upstairs. Okay, then go and I'll fix it. Come here, Ivan. What is the thing? There. So. This is working, but no hot water. No hot water, no? No hot water. Is this food? This is not working. Ne, 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 ne. What is this? I cannot see him. What is that? What is that? Oh! Two hours later. The doctor is waiting for you. Thank you. Hello there. Hello, good morning. Good morning. What's your complaint? So I was working and then. I got in the sink and I got ammonia in my eyes. Ammonia. But wow. thanks God it was an acid burn. Oh, but alkali burns can be very dangerous and severe as well. Alkali agents are lipophilic and penetrate deeper and more rapidly into the tissues than acids. They saponify the fatty acids of the cell membranes and penetrate the corneal stroma and destroy the proteoglycans, ground substance and collagen bundles. Potent alkali burns can reach the anterior chamber in less than 15 seconds, causing destruction of tissues in the cornea and the anterior chamber, including the trabecular meshwork, lens, and ciliary body. So, what are we gonna do now? Oh, right now we're gonna measure your pH and uh, we have to rinse your eyes as well. But I already did it. Oh, you already rinsed your eyes? But yeah. I don't, I'm sure it wasn't sufficient, you need to do it again. Yeah, okay. I'll bring my nurse in now and she's going to measure your pH. Okay, thank you. Yeah, A few moments later. You got the results for me? I got the results. Okay, thank you. Is it rusted? Rusted. Uh, oh, your results are not very promising actually. Your pH is very high, so we need to continue the irradiation of your eyes for at least 10 to, four, 10 to 15 minutes more. But I've been doing it before. But you did not do enough. How long, how I long did, did it like for 3 minutes each. 3 minutes, not enough. We have this machine now, it's going to help you. We're going to irradiate your eyes. But you it really hurts me. Oh, but you don't worry about the pain. We'll give you anesthesia. It, it will be fine. Don't worry. Okay, thank you. Patient with mild to moderate injury grade 1 and 2, have a good prognosis and can often be treated successfully with medical treatment alone. The aims of medical treatment are done to enhance recovery of the corneal epithelium and augment collagen synthesis, while also minimizing collagen breakdown and controlling inflammation. Well, it's time to look into your eyes using biomicroscopy and ophthalmoscope to assess the degrees of damage. Okay. With this, we can uh, see burns and removal of the front surface of the eye or clouding of the cornea. If it gets deeper, it can cause cataracts and serious troubles into the eye. Ooh. And we also need to measure your intraocular, intraocular pressure using a tonometer. Yeah. I'll perform the ophthalmoscope now. So, how is it going? 
It looks good. Uh, I can only see some corneal epithelial damage, but uh, no limbo ischemia. Oh, thanks God, really. Thanks God. Yeah, it, it will only. It will thanks be God. Nice, it's only grade one. You, it will. It, it's a very good prognosis, so don't worry. Thank you so much, doctor. Like that. So after that, we have many options for recovery for the patients, and these primarily involve bringing inflammation under control and preventing infection. If the cloudiness and the vision does not improve, it may require surgery in the short term to help restore the surface of the eye, or in the long term to remove the cloudy cornea with corneal transplant or other procedures. So do I need surgery? No, no, you won't need any surgery. Uh, I'll prescribe you medications. I'll prescribe you erythromycin ointment four times daily to provide ocular lubrication and prevent uh, super infection. Uh, some topical prednisolone also four times daily to decrease the inflammation. Perfect. Uh, and uh, ascorbic acid uh, four times daily to promote uh, collagen synthesis and uh, reduce ulceration. Okay, doctor. And do I get any complications of the medication? Oh no, you you. There is a complication with alkali burns. Uh, it is a big chance of glaucoma. It is very common. It can occur in almost fifty percent of all patients. But uh, I will follow up with you in two weeks, so you will be back here for a follow up. Okay, yeah, I totally agree. Okay. Thank you so much, Doctor. You're welcome.